hello guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's another episode about african culture and today we are going to be talking about the anklets so what are anklets let us start from there anklets are deeply rooted in african culture before becoming fashion piece in modern times i want to say thank you so much for tuning in if you are a new viewer and if you're a new subscriber i want to welcome you to my palace and as i always say this is the place to be and if you do not know me my name is Pureville here to bring you amazing content guys let us continue with our topic of today so anklets were thought to be symbolic elements wearing anklets improperly was frowned upon so at first, uh, in the beginning, uh, but I still think it's the same issue right now. People have not accepted uh, the anklets, despite the fact that uh, in the traditional times, people used to wear them for specific reasons. So right now, the reasons have changed. They're not the similar reasons that they were, that they were there before. So I'm about to talk about the reasons why people used to wear anklets in the traditional African times and I'll talk about the modern time right now. So in the traditional African times, an anklets have been used to attract partners and uh, to be able to also flaunt their wealth. So you find that uh, women used to wear these anklets to be able to attract uh, the men okay maybe for marriage and all that and you find in some communities the anklets uh, were not supposed to be seen by other men it is only their husbands to be after they are married it is when that they are able to they are the only ones who are allowed to see their anklets so you find that in some communities the women are supposed to hide these anklets okay so another reason that i've talked about is to be able to flaunt their wealth so you find for example in egypt i'll give an example of egypt women of wealthy class were more uh, wore more anklets made from uh, precious stones maybe you find um, the, the stones that they use are quite expensive but you find that if you are coming from a lower class or from a poor background, a woman was able only to, make, to wear handmade anklets with um, just stones, uh, very cheap uh, materials, I will say that. Okay, so in traditional time in Egypt, they were used to be able to identify the wealthy class and the poor class. So another reason is why anklets have been worn to perform in some traditional dances. You find, but I've still seen this one happening because I've seen people performing traditional dances with anklets. Uh, so it depends with their dance and maybe they want to hit their feet on the ground so that a certain tune can come out. I've seen that that is still happening. It's still happening in the modern times. Okay, so you find during performing these traditional dances, people wear these anklets made from different things. Others wear them made from uh, not only these stones, but others wear them made from beads. Others wear them uh, made from grass. So it depends and it depends on which occasion. Also, anklets are worn in weddings the people who wear them in weddings it's still happening now with some communities and some people okay so but right now what is uh, also another reason before i forget anklets were used to warn uh, for charm purposes okay to be able to uh, have a good charm good luck so you find people wore them so that uh, they it can be a sign of good luck i don't know if this is still happening right now because times have changed so they used to use them as a good luck charm and also they used to wear them to protect themselves against something by the way guys i did uh, a video similar almost similar to this about waist beads if you've not seen waist beads kindly go and check that out because some of the things that i'm talking about here they are quite similar to the waist beads yeah they go at least uh hand in hand if you've seen about waist beads you'll be able to understand what i'm actually talking about and here i'm sharing with you some of uh, a few pictures you can be able to know or, or, and to see different types of anklets and how women wore them in different designs okay and in different 
colors. So to those who wore them to protect the, themselves against something, that depends on where someone is coming from, which background someone is coming from. Because right now, even if you see them wearing them, you will not be able to know for what purpose this person is actually wearing them, okay? Because some are still in the traditional times, but not so many. And some are, uh, there are reasons for the modern times, okay? Which I'm about to talk about them right now. So guys, um, kindly don't forget to like my video. Please share me out to your friends, to your family, to your spouses, to your neighbor. Let us continue to grow this community. And I want to take this opportunity to appreciate all of you for your massive support. Especially for, yeah, enabling me. Because you guys, first, God first has made me to come this far. And you, my YouTube family, I want to thank you so much for the 1K plus subscribers. We've hit that within a span of six months and I want to say thank you. Now we are heading to monetization. So I don't know what time I'll be releasing this video, but when I release it, I want to appreciate all of you. Okay, so let's talk about the modern times. Reasons why people wear the anklets. Right now people are wearing it as a sense of fashion, okay? Most of people don't care about the traditional beliefs and all that stuff. Right now, people just wear it for fashion purposes. Okay? And uh, for fashion, I'm okay with it because they look cool. They look so colorful. But there are other reasons that right now, people are not accepting, uh, not so many people, not so many modern women, I'll call them modern women, will accept to wear these anklets. And do you know the reason why? It's because people have uh, portrayed a picture of these anklets to some specific groups of people who believe in um, same gender love. I'll say it that way to be more... Uh, respectful uh, and I'm not into like there's no negativity I'm just trying to elaborate something please don't get me wrong so you find for example I'll talk about in Nigeria you find that Nigeria is in West Africa just in case you don't know you find that uh, wearing them is a bit controversial Okay, women who wear them are considered to be ashewos. They call them, I don't know if it is ashewos or ashawos. Um, I don't know if I'm pronouncing them the right way. So this is a term that is mainly used to call uh, sex workers. So you can imagine you're wearing just an anklet just because of fashion and all that. But this is what they think of you. Maybe they see you, they say, hey, that one is a sex worker. Things like that okay so or they think that you're uh you belong to same gen same gender love uh group um yeah i hope you're getting me so you find that so many modern women will feel uh a little bit i'll say it's afraid it's like fear you'll have the fear them the fear of wearing them because you don't want to be pro portrayed like this in the society okay no modest woman would wear these anklets, despite the fact that it was worn in the Yoruba, Igbo, and Hausa culture in Nigeria. And it's not only in Nigeria. So many countries, even back in Kenya, in the traditional times, so many uh, African countries used to wear these anklets and are still wearing them now so guys uh i will be on the point that uh before you maybe point a finger that um that person who is wearing an anklet or a waist beads is wearing them for this particular purpose maybe they're just wearing them for fashion like other people okay but yeah it depends on you you can choose to wear it you can choose not to wear it okay same as waist beads have you watched until this point i want to say Thank you so, so much for joining me into sharing this wonderful news. You can research more about it because I feel like I've not exhausted everything. I feel there is more to learn, but with time, we, we will be able to learn things together. So until the next one, it's a bye-bye for me.